environment is one of the major concerns these days in this session we would be focusing on institutions dealing with environmental development and protection in india so we would be going across the various institutions the various methods that have been adopted along with that we would also focus on uh, the various ministries and the departments involved with the same so let's first begin with the forest area now the forest research institute is one of the premier institutions in india not only in india but whole of the south asia and working towards the uh, training uh, of the environmental professionals as well as forest officers the next is forest survey of india it prepares its reports twice yearly and the thematic maps are prepared at a scale of 1 is to 50000 and it's one of the major agencies for database of the forest resources the next is indian institute of forest management it works with the uh, knowledge in indian context and training the teachers mainly for the various minor forest produce that could be obtained and development of educational institutions coming on to the geology geological survey of india is important recently uh, the idea of ge geo uh, conservation was laid down uh, at the global level by the geological survey of india and we focused on sites like rayoli we focused on sites like zawar area and the ramgarh crater in the bara district of rajasthan which we have covered in the separate class on geo conservation so geo conservation is one of the major approaches that could be seen by gsi the next is central zoo authority it talks about the upkeeping and maintenance and the veterinary activities related to uh, the keeping of animals in the zoo identification of uh, endangered species taking care of the endangered species the breeding activities and uh, the themes and the priorities uh, priorities when you are displaying the captive animals in the zoo the next is animal welfare board it focuses on protecting the cruelty against the animals and also providing financial assistance of any kind focusing with uh, animal welfare organizations the next is ce ce is the center for environmental awareness and environmental education focusing mainly on awareness campaigns across india and creating educational material and programs for creating awareness among people the central institute of medicinal and aromatic plant as the name suggests focuses on the plants through which aromatic and medicinal properties could be generated for example thyme mint are some of the examples and utilization and protection of exotic species if brought into the country and the ways through which they could be further uh, expanded the next is pollution control the cpcb uh, cpcb recently has an important task with the delhi ncr pollution and the problems related to the ncr pollution gathering uh, major momentum these days so there are functions at the national level as well as the state level which are being followed and this is mainly the coordination focusing on resolution of disputes prevention and control of pollution and the prescribed prescribed guidelines to be followed as laid down by the center the next is icar which is a body for agricultural research so any of the agricultural agroforestry or allied sciences are brought into consideration researches are done here and there are broader problems which are Uh, related to rural development which are also taken into account iips which is international institute for population sciences focuses on various teaching programs and has researches mainly on the aspects of po population now you might consider how population is resources to in related to environment and environmental conservation so definitely human beings are the worst uh, users we would say for the various resources and therefore population resource dynamics understanding that becomes very very important the next is toxicological research the indian institute for toxicological research which focuses on toxic chemicals and pollutants and checks the use of those toxic chemicals and pollutants in the agricultural area and also gives the uh, rules and the guidelines for prescribed limit for 
certain chemicals to be used the next is the indian center for ocean service information service now this talks about acquisition and archival of the information related to oceans and this would be helpful through satellite technology you have uh, the coastal zone regulation technique and uh, tsunami management storm surge which are some of the major focuses that are taken into account similar to the ocean we have the atmosphere that is again important so you have the indian institute of tropical meteorology that is working with the dynamics of ocean atmosphere uh, development and you have supercomputers being related uh, and being built up uh, apps like suffer have been developed in this line the next is renewable energy now definitely we are all consumers of energy now energy production and the coal resources or the non renewable resources are limited so we are slowly and gradually shifting towards renewable sources of energy the most common renewable sources of energy that could be harnessed in india is of course the solar energy and therefore progress on the renewable section or the renewable energy resource is important innovative financing is again very very important the next is biodiversity and botanical research so biodiversity we focus on the conservation the sustainable use and fair and equitable sharing of all the biological resources gathering more uh, strength and technical support is important similar to the biodiversity as we said we have the botanical research which talks about the plant species protection of species the environmental approach the interaction of the plants the improvements that could be brought about and the various indigenous and exotic varieties that are there similar Uh, to these developments we are also focusing on disasters now tsunami earthquake volcanic explosions are sir, sir, some of the examples of disaster that could impact a huge segment of population and therefore national disaster management and the application of that becomes very very important so early warning systems control rooms to be established uh, disaster preparedness and response and mitigation are important landslides and glob the glacial lake outburst these days are an upcoming issue and an upcoming problem also we are talking about the medium range forecasting as well as the long range forecasting supercomputers like param and meher have been functional for understanding the weather changes and the climatic conditions the next is neri neri is based in lucknow and this is the national environmental engineering research institute it focuses on technical solutions and improvement of uh, the uh, environmental problems national green tribunal ngt has been important because it is working uh, quickly for resolution of cases related to environmental protection and legal rights for environment also family pro uh, planning program which is uh, i would say uh, related to iips developments that we have seen are important similar to that we also have another body which is working for antarctic and ocean research uh, which is mainly the two research bases the maitri and the bharati working in the uh, antarctic and then you ha also have one research base in the arctic which is in the name of himadri so these three research stations are important and we also have research vessels like sagar kanya which have been functional for various studies on uh, ocean and polar sciences occupational health is important let's say people working in the asbestos region suffer from asbestos people uh, working with <clears throat> industries where lungs are being uh, affected pneumoconiosis is one of the common diseases that is seen <clears throat> so these are all examples of occupational health or occupational diseases so checking out the occupational health the toxicity levels that should be uh, marked and the safety precautions that should be given are very very important similar to those we also have the national tiger conservation now uh, tiger conservation is one such example we are nowadays having projects like uh, project rhino project hangul uh, dolphin so those are all some of the animals that are being protected hangul in the region of jammu kashmir uh, gangetic dolphin in the regions of ganga valley so these are some of the species that are being protected so protection of the species or certain uh, animal species or plant species that are on the verge of extinction is rather important 
ग्राउंड वाटर एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर व्हेन वी क्लासिफाई वाटर रिसोर्सेज वी क्लासिफाई दोज आइदर एज द ग्राउंड वाटर और द सरफेस वाटर सो ग्राउंड वाटर बोर्ड द सेंट्रल ग्राउंड वाटर बोर्ड इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड देर आर पेनल्टीज ऑन टू द पीपल इफ देर इज मिसमैनेजमेंट एंड अंड यू यूज दैट हैज बीन फॉर्म सिमिलरली द सेंट्रल वाटर कमीशन फोकसेज ऑन द इशू ऑफ द फॉरकास्ट द इंटर स्टेट डिस्प्यूट इफ एनी एंड ऑल्सो वॉट आर द राइट वेज ऑफ यूजिंग एंड promoting the water areas water resources and checking out the gray areas the areas where the water table has significantly gone down aquaculture authority is focusing on aquaculture farms now this is one of the ways through which job and employment and additional income could be generated so when we talk about 2022 doubling the farmers income this is where you have aqua farm cultures that are being introduced hatcheries being introduced environmental information system now this is a database which basically updates about the various environmental activities in the region and it's a kind of platform which creates much more value addition with uh, categorized directories and folder structures to make things much more easy for the public horticulture mission uh, as a part of the horticulture mission we have some of the uh, centers that have been developed the list of those have been given here for example cashew and coconut Koka Development Center in the region of Kochi. You have Arkanat, which is Supari, has been developed in Calicut. Similarly, Plastic Culture in the region of New Delhi are some of the examples that have been developed. Also, we are focusing on atomic energy, the uh, regulated use and development for research and uh, development purpose, and check out if uh, if there are no undue incidences of. Uh, atomic uh, release or nuclear release that could be seen wildlife criminal control uh, bureau is important this checks any kind of illegal hunting or illegal activities for the wildlife animals and there are certain conventions and protocols that are to be followed for protection of wildlife wildlife institute of india has been working greatly with controlling the endangered species uh, checking the uh, reduction in the number of the endangered species focusing on habitat ecology and also maintains herbariums and electronic libraries for educational purpose similar to the forest survey of india we also have the zoological survey of india it maintains a survey or a inventory for the various species of uh, fauna that is present across various regions the endemic species the threatened species the endangered species and the species on the verge of extinction preparation of the red data book uh, of the fauna and the uh, fauna of india and the state are important now this zoological survey fo focuses only on the fauna since it is not the botanical survey of india it's the zoological survey of india focusing on the developments of population we also have the popin which is important which is the population information net work now this provides more flexibility you have national population information centers that are being built training of the staff and external funding are some of the major ideas through which development has been going forward conservation of river and development of river is another breakthrough development that we see now next we come on to certain ministries some of the common ministries are ministries of consumer affair under which you have the department of consumer affair it focuses on internal trade interstate trade Uh, things like packaging uh, checking out the hoarding and the black marketing then we have the ministry of environment which focuses on environmental and forestry programs in india prevention and control of pollution and land degradation are some of the major activities that are checked the next is ministry of drinking water uh, and sanitation this focuses on swachh bharat abhiyan and the national rural uh, drinking water program also we now have the jal shakti abhiyan the next is ministry of earth science it focuses on the parameters of weather and uh, climate earthquake tsunamis or any other phenomena is related to it and the role of the arctic and the southern ocean research centers tribal affairs focuses on the tribal population the programs educational development scholarships 
uh, residential hostels and then also focusing on the minor forest produce which is one of the major dwellings or the major source of incomes for the tribal people similarly we have the water resource ministry of water resource river development and ganga rejuvenation which focuses on operation of various uh, programs related to conservation and uh, conservation of resources creation of watershed management uh, johards or the local uh, regions where water conservation efforts could be done similar to that we have ministry of new and renewable energy sources which is one of the major drivers for the future once we have a limited amount of renew non renewable resources of energy how we can think about renewable energy so as we said solar wind are some of the major targets for uh, this ministry uh, along with that we also have certain departments two important departments are department for agricultural cooperation which focuses on matters which are related to agriculture and the department of land resource which aims to modernize the land record management system and build up a management system like a scheme of swamitva which was the list of property cards which we have discussed separately in a uh, different class so those are some of the key highlights that we have gone through as the national Uh, bodies which are related to environment the cause of environment these could be the forest area the zoological uh, section the botanical section the geological aspects as well as the population and the relation between the population resource regions we would also cover some of the international organizations in a separate lecture so stay tuned for many more updates from our side have a wonderful day ahead